Hello YouTube and Happy New Year. Here's my New Year special, the Claw Machine version 3, which is finally here. As you can see, it has a nice design and I have a bowl of candy over there to pour in. But first, I'm going to show you working without the candy. And before I do that, I'm going to show you a 360 view. So you can see the whole design aspect of the claw machine. And back there is an um, unjamming door, a locking money box, right there. And basically, I made this claw machine with only one NXT. My re I only had one NXT, and I saw that a lot of people use two NXTs. And this is one of the first ones that uses, on YouTube that I know of, that uses one NXT and just power functions. So, it takes money, and it has all the functions of a regular claw machine, but uses only one NXT and just normal power functions, which cannot be computerized, for those who don't know that. So, yeah. Basically, the claw machine takes nickels, and you can set the price, and the instructions will all be displayed on the little screen here. So... I made it to where you can remove this little piece to turn on the, the power of the NXT for the um, owner. And then the owner turns on the program and then inserts the brick. So it appears as though you can't. So it appears to the public to where you cannot tinker with it. So the, it says the claw to play insert five cents. So there's a joystick that does nothing, and a button that does nothing until you insert the money. So, it costs five cents, but what if you insert a penny? You insert a penny into the coin slot, and the coin rejection rejects pennies very well. So pennies obviously do not work. So, if you take a nickel and insert it into the coin slot, you'll hear a ding, and then it says to play, press, or it says press the button to start. So, you press the button, and then you start. And on the screen, there's a timer that gives you 15 seconds to move around, find your prize. And then, if you press the button before 15 seconds, it opens the claw, goes down, grabs your prize, then go, or turns up. Then, the instructions say, go back to the prize chute and press the button to get your prize. So... You move back to the prize chute, then press the button, and it opens the claw to drop your prize. And to get your prize, you would open this, and it blocks you from retrieving any more prizes through the prize chute. So, it also has glass on the front, so you cannot get in through the front or sides. And there's also glass on the back, as I'll show you while getting the money. So... The design is very nice, and I have my candy over here, so now that I've shown you the um, the actual program working, the owner will take candy and just dump it down in. I'll go ahead and spread that around for you guys. And the claw is very realistic. It doesn't pick up every time, obviously, so the owner doesn't lose money. And will pick up prizes if you position it good enough. So, as you see, it returns to the home screen. It's on a um, it's on a constant loop, and basically the screen says insert five cents. As usual, it just repeats the program. So I'll show you the timer in action. So you press the button, then I'm gonna move over a Reese cup. Right there. I'm going to let you see the timer counting 8 seconds. It's almost to 15 seconds. As you see, it gives you 15 seconds. And, oh, I just barely missed it. So you move back to the prize chute, press the button, and then it returns and you can't do anything else. So, to get some more, um, to try and win something else, we'll put in another nickel. Hear the ding, as usual, press the button. Now, I'm going to try and win uh, that pack of jelly beans back there. Alright, so. Dang it. As you see, all the other candy kind of blocks the claw from 
getting anything. If I don't get anything, I'll try and show you that I can actually pick up stuff. But hopefully I can win something here. I have two more nickels left. So I'm going to place another nickel into the coin slot. And then press the button and try and win the Reese Cup again. Because I like Reese Cups. So let the call settle down. Still have, it's still at 9 seconds, and I'll try and win the Reese Cup. Dang it. Alright. I'm gonna try and win it again. Hopefully, I can win this. Um, press the button. As you can see, it's like a real claw machine. You're not guaranteed to win as any claw machine. And basically, what you do... I'm going to try and win that Reese Cup again, and yes, I won it. Alright, so I'll move back to the to the um, prize chute, do that, open it up, try and get some more prizes, can't do that. So I'll grab my prize, close the door, and as you see, I got a Reese Cup. So, it says... Let me try and focus it. Okay, the claw to play, insert five cents. So as you see, it's all reset. You can't do anything with the joystick. The button doesn't do anything. So once you're out of money, you pretty much can't do anything. And it's the program also is set to never sleep. So your thing will stay on as long as you want. I tend to turn it off when I'm done to save power, of course. But if you had it in like a real place, not a rechargeable battery or something, and plugged it in, whatever you want to do, I mean, this claw machine can stay up all day. So, yeah, I don't know exactly how the rechargeable batteries work, because I don't have one. But obviously, as you see, I won a prize, and that cost me... Uh, not exactly sure. I'll check. But, basically, I have a locking door up here, and that is to unjam or see if there's any coins left in there. So as you see, you can see the coins. I have a locking drawer. These just lock so they don't fall out, but obviously the owner would be the main person entering these doors. So, yeah, there's no more coins in there. So that cost me, I think, 25 cents. That's a pretty dang good deal, I'll say. If I don't say so myself. So that, yeah, 25 cents at a six nickel over here. And there's all the candy. So yeah, the claw machine works really well. You just lock these by twisting, like that. It's locked. You put this one down. And then it's locked. And basically, yeah, it has ramps to guide the um thing down in there. But basically, in the back, how it works is you have a motor turning on and off the battery box. So that is to allow the power functions not to constantly run, and therefore you cannot move the claw what, bef without putting in any money. So basically, you have all the candy in the claw machine, and it's like a real claw machine, so you have to pay to play, as I said before. So, yeah, it works really well. I love the design. I have a rubber band to which you can adjust to get more or less grip on the claw. And that adjusts tension. And yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this New Year special, the Claw Machine version 3. I'll go out a little bit. And yeah, so it's pretty awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you think in the comments. Hello YouTube, here's another short clip of um, more rounds of the Claw Machine working. And me and my brother are each going to use three rounds, as you can see, six nickels. And... Yeah, so we're each going to see who can get the most candy. So, I really don't, it's based on, well, it's kind of based on luck to see how the claw falls and stuff. But, yeah, so the claw program is on, and this is basically just to show you the different aspects of the claw, how well it works, and stuff like that. So, as you can see, you can go pretty far into corners. I'm going to go for that GR Deli thing in the back, and let the claw settle down some. Hopefully, oh. No win for now. Try and win that again. It's kind of hard to tell through the camera. But. Oh. 
<laughs> no win. Yeah, I'll try one last time, see if I can win something. I guess I'll go for the Reese Cup. That was my lucky one last time. Come on. Oh, no win. Now I'm going to hand it over to my brother and see if he can win anything. So, I'll get to the side, let him take over. But as you can see, the, the claw can go pretty much anywhere in there. And I improved the maneuverability over my previous claws. See, going for the Reese Cup. Oh, I think he won it. Yes, he won it. So he definitely won. Let's see how many he can get. He's actually really good at this cloth. So. Gotta press the button. Let's see. You think he's going for the GR Deli? Yep. Timer kicked in. As you can see, the other candy kind of tilts it back, which, since it's just hanging on a string, that's possible. Oh, he actually got a warhead, but that's why you got to make sure you're all the way over the candy thing, but yeah. A lot of times the claw will shake a lot if you move it too rapidly, so that's why going slow sometimes is better. This is the last round, see if you can win anything. And, oh, nothing. Looks like the prize of the day is definitely the Reese Cup. So let me see it. So yeah, prize of the day is the Reese Cup. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys like the claw. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And yeah, so it works well. And that's pretty much it. Bye.